welcome. Welcome to our Wednesday night of intercession and presence and pressing into the beautiful, incredible Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, online family, we're glad to be with you as well. Thank you for joining us for this time of worship and intercession. Again, I just want to invite you that if you have anything that you felt the Lord was saying to you today in prayer or is saying to you during our service that is in regard to interceding, intercession, holding that place between the Lord and those he loves, go ahead and share it in the chat and um, we'll declare it here uh, in the house as well, so we can all be in prayer together. Well, let's pray right now, and then we'll just enter in. Holy, perfect God, I'm so grateful in this moment for your love. I'm so grateful that everything you do is because you are love, God. You are love. It is your motivation. It is your essence. It is your intention. Father, your love is perfect, and it drives away fear. And so as we pray tonight, as we worship you, may we come with hearts filled to overflowing with that love that you pour out, your love to your people, oh God. May we come and give you glory and honor and praise because you're worthy, mighty King. And as we exalt you, as we worship you, as we lift you up above all concern and all thought and all intention, Lord, we are brought into peace. We are brought into your righteousness, Lord Jesus. We are brought into your glory and your kingdom, God, into all fullness. The fullness, the fullness of God is in you, Christ Jesus. And so you are the one we're here to adore. You're the one we're here to honor. You're the one we're here to exalt in our hearts and in this place. Be glorified now. In Jesus' name we pray, Lord God. Amen. Amen.
there's such a commanding sound from heaven, Holy Spirit, amplifying in my heart, eyes on Jesus. Prepare your tithes, prepare your offerings, whatever the Lord has brought you to give or what you've already given, and to bring back your heart in that giving online too. And let's continue worshiping this song and just let the offering flow. Eyes on Jesus as we come. Christ, your destiny, and He's just wants you to know He sees you. You're not alone. You're not trying to sort this out, and you're certainly not forgotten. You're actually been marked, and God is going to protect you, bless you. All He asks, keep showing up. Learn to give Him some time with your own time in the Word, in prayer, and just say, Father, bring me into my future in Jesus' name. I want you to have your way in my life. I want your, your will. Little things like that. And he will take those sincere prayers and he will put his angels around you and he will direct your path and he'll keep calling you forward. So give some time in the Bible so that he can speak to you from the, from the volume of truth and bring you into the story that he's written. Even if you were to take the five chapters we're all doing, it would be so powerful. You would look back five years from now and say, you know, I just did a couple little things to put, let God come into my life. And he just blossomed everything, well, far beyond I could have ever dreamed of. And 
forever you will praise him. You will forever praise him. You're marked, you're loved, you're blessed tonight and for the rest of your lives in Jesus' name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. Lord, our eyes are on you, all our eyes. We know that there's something so wonderful happening from heaven, something so powerful happening from the head of the church into his body. And we bring you joyfully our tithes, offerings, giving of this month, online, in line, everywhere, anytime. We thank you and we say, Lord, you are worth it all. You are worth it all. And now command the blessing for us to advance with you. Father, as from your riches in glory, it, you would supply and fill and replenish and uh, replete us our need in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 All right. Let, go ahead and be seated. This is our night of intercession, corporate intercession, and I want us to be able to really step in. Those of you online, help us. Uh, I haven't got to say hi to you yet. But um, two things, three three things. A, we've, we've joined with our Messianic brothers and sisters in Israel who called for themselves the Messianic Church, which we call ourselves the Christian Church. That's both different terms that mean come from the same word. It means anointed one, Jesus, the anointed one. They've been praying from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Monday was on personal repentance. I joined that in my heart and practice, and I was really undone. It was powerful. Yesterday was prayer of repentance for the, the, the body of, uh, in Israel, it would be called the body of Yeshua. Here we call it the body of Jesus, uh, where we have broken apart, where we have schisms, offenses, troubles. We're just kind of asking. The whole thing is, if we pray a prayer that God likes, he hears it. And if he hears it, then he forgives. And if he forgives, then he heals. So we're, we're endeavoring. Now, today has been a day of praying in Israel for Israel, the political, geopolitical, corporate demo, uh, nation, which has every part of everything in it, that God would have mercy and heal and bring forgiveness. And we have done the same, but we've also included the United States of America. So tonight, those are our real positions of heart and the, the power of God that was present from in the sanctuary today in regards to this has been just astounding. Two weeks from tonight, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, three weeks from tonight will be our next intercession workshop. It's a six hour uh, from 2 to 8 p.m. It's, we, we built, we can't, I'm sorry we can't be online for you except till the, the six o'clock service portion. We put ourselves in some big circles so we can open the door for uh, com communication except reception. We hear from the intercessors. We're on the Wednesday before Purim and Palm Sunday. So we're looking to let those themes re resonate and how God has used in those two times the power of intercession, especially with Mary as she, she prepared Jesus for his assignment to go to the cross, and then as Mordecai, Esther, and so forth. Uh, you register online. It's, if you go now and say to your whoever is in charge of your time during that part of the day, can I, I need, I would like to go and participate at this event. Can I rearrange my schedule, my work, and so forth? I believe the Lord will give every one of us favor to do so. It can't be any scarier than Esther standing in front of the king <laughs> before she got the golden sephir. sephir. Uh, I'll forget it. Sephir. Sephir. <laughs> Scepter, I know. I just like the word sephir. <laughs> Scepter, thank you. Diane is my linguist. She's the one who edited the book, and she knows when I say something what I really mean. Me and, but Rosie and I know the same thing. I speak Rosie's language, and yeah, interpretations. Uh, lastly, men, if you're, a, we're going to have our men's inheritance. I think it's a really gonna, important one. The second went Saturday, seven thirty to nine thirty in the morning. Breakfast included, no registration required, uh, and that'll be on the 9th, I believe, of March. So uh, please don't mark those and be a part. So Karen, Delenn, you guys, come on up. We want to just give time. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for, for, 
for positioning your heart and saying, I am here to be led by the Spirit as he the great intercessor on earth, by the great intercessor in heaven, Jesus, I'm going to learn his ways and, and direct and join in it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jubilee. <coughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Gosh, it's good to be back. I feel like we haven't been here for a little bit. A little bit. Welcome everybody that came to you guys online. Okay, you want to open it? Yeah, let's do this. Thank you, Father. Oh, Daddy, we just praise you. Just thank you, Father, for this season you have Jubilee in. And thank you, Father, for just pouring out today during intercession and pouring in. Father, you're so faithful. Lord, and we take our place right now in the realm of the Spirit. And we put off all the weight of this world and all the distractions that we've yes, had. Lord. Throughout this day, Father, throughout the week, Lord, you, even just throughout the beginning of this year, Father, you know all that we've had before us and all that is before us in this nation and in Israel, yes. Father, and all over the world, Father, we just really, really, really beseech you in your presence, Father. We ask, Daddy, that you would just have your way tonight, Father. We just come in agreement with all that it is that you're doing and that you want to do, Father. And though it's beyond our knowing, it's all yeah. beyond our knowing. We don't understand. We don't know the secrets in men's hearts. And we don't even know the secrets in our own hearts half the time, Father. But you know all things. You are before all things. All things are exist because of you. And so we thank you, Father, for who we are in you and what it is that you're doing here on earth as it is in heaven, Father. Lord, and we just ask for a shifting of our mindset, Daddy, that you would just shift us right now as we shift into the spirit realm and we say no to all that wants to pull our minds in a different direction. We say, your will be done here tonight. So, Daddy, we thank you for who we are in Christ. We thank you for the beautiful gift of Jesus Christ. So incredibly beautiful. For the greatest love story ever told, we thank you, Father. We thank you. So we take authority right now over this meeting here tonight in the name of Jesus, the name that is above every name. And every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess, Jesus Christ is Lord. So we take our place right now. And we bind all principalities, powers, and rulers of darkness and every evil spirit in high place in the name of Jesus. And we say no. No moving in here tonight. No moving over our families and our loved ones in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that as we're about your business, you're about our business and that you're perfecting everything that concerns us. So we cancel all backlash and retaliation in the name of Jesus. And we stand firm and we thank you for the awesome, powerful mind of Christ. We believe you, Father. We believe you for what it is that you're doing. So we put on Christ, the mind of Christ, his righteousness, his truth, his sandals. We pick up his word. We thank you for your faith that you have given us, Father, because you are the author and the finisher of our faith. So we thank you, Father, for the beautiful armor. And we put you on, Jesus, and we say, have your way. Have your way tonight, Lord. We want your will here, Father. We're asking your will here in the United States and your will over Israel, Lord. Your will over the nations, Father, in the name of Jesus. And we prepare ourselves with love and we ask for love to lead us tonight. 
that love would lead here. Father, no greater love than to lay one's life down for another. Father, that we would know what that really means, what it is to lay ourselves down for another. So we lay down all strife, all contention, all bitterness, all unforgiveness. We lay it down. We, we, don't, we don't want it. We renounce it. We put it off and we say no. We choose love, forgiveness, kindness, gentleness. We thank you for self-control, that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. In the name of Jesus. Father, we so desperately need you. We need you, Father. Show us how to pray tonight for your precious, your beloved, your Israel, your nation, Father. Show us, Father. Let us be moved by your heart tonight, Daddy. In the name of Jesus. what we're going to proclaim. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Isaiah 54. I'm going to stop, start at um, <clears throat> verse 5. Israel, for thy maker is thine husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. And thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth shall he be called. For the Lord hath called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit and a wife of youth when thou wast refused, saith thy God. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith the Lord, thy Redeemer. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I would not be wroth with thee, nor rebuke thee. For the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, saith the Lord that hath mercy on thee. O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest, and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors, and lay thy foundations with sapphires, and I will make thy windows of agate, agates, and thy gates of carbuncles, and thy borders of pleasant stones, and all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. In righteousness shall thou be established. Thou shall be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall ga gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals on the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is a heritage of the servants of the Lord and the righteousness of me, saith the Lord. This is our Father's final word. This is, this is your word, Lord. This is your proclamation. Lord, this is your promise and your prophecy over your land, Lord Jesus. 
So we proclaim, Lord Jesus, that you saved your nation, Lord Jesus, that you redeem your nation, that you deliver your nation from their enemies within and without, Lord. In Jesus' name, heal the mindset. Yes, Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, we proclaim wholeness to Israel. Yes, Lord. We proclaim wholeness, that your vision be healed, your hearing be healed, your mind be sound. We speak and proclaim and decree the mind of Christ over Israel, the mind of Christ. Father, I thank you, Father God, that you, that, that you would uproot, Father God, a double-mindedness, Yes, Lord, Lord in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, for hearing the prayers of our brothers and sisters today or tomorrow, whenever it was, Lord. We come in agreement. We purpose our hearts to align with our believing brothers and sisters in Israel. Yes, Lord. They have cried out for themselves personally and for the body and for their nation. Yes, Lord. Lord, in Jesus' name, we agree with every utterance that came from your heart, Lord. Father, we say yes and amen to your word, Father God. You said it, Father God. Yes, Lord. Lord, we bless you that you heal, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, that you heal the mind. You heal the mind of your son, Jacob. You heal his mind, Lord, in Jesus' name. We speak righteousness into you, Israel, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you hear the word of the Lord, that you hear the word of the Lord, that the veil be lifted up from your heart, in Jesus' name, and that you hear the word of the Lord, and you say yes and amen to your king, in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you, Lord God, that we are not praying amiss. I thank you, Father God, that we are praying your will. You said if we pray your will that you hear us. And if we know you hear us, we know we have that petition that we brought before you. We are praying your word, Father. Yes. And Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, as we align ourselves right now with our brothers and sisters in Israel. Yes. Lord. I thank you, Lord, for making us one, one mind, one yes, heart. Lord, Lord I, I just speak this right here. Yes, Lord. And just bear with me a little bit. Thank you, Father. Let this mind be in you. Now, hold on. Um, if any, um, that ye be like-minded. This will bring the joy of the Lord. That you be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory. I, pro- I proclaim that over the church, yes. over the church at large, over the church in the earth, yes, Lord. from all over all the oceans, over all the land. Yes. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, and our brothers or sisters are dispersed throughout the earth. And Lord, that you make us like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord and of one mind. Let nothing in us be done through strife or vainglory but in lowliness of mind let us each esteem other better than ourselves yes lord Lord, let not let us not look every man to our own things but every man also on the things of others and skipping down skipping down to verse 14 do all things in Philippians 2. Do all things without murmurings and disputings. And I thank you, Father, for uprooting that from our midst in all the earth, Lord, that your people, that we're known by our love for one another. And whoever we don't love, Lord, shed your love abroad in our hearts and cause us to love them, Lord. Cause them to love us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Heal, bring um, reconciliation, the ministry of reconciliation to us, Lord, in Jesus' name, which is our transformation. The word means to change, but if you keep looking, it says to transform. Our transformation is reconciliation. Reconciliation is our transformation. Do all things without murmurings and disputings. And Lord, in Jesus' name, that the church be blameless yes. and harmless, the yes. sons of God. Yes, Lord. Without rebuke. Mighty but humble. I, uh, that's just my thing. In the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom we, you guys, we shine as lights in the world. 
we can may not always see that, but that's who we are. We're the Lord's light, shining in the world, holding forth the word of life in our beings. That we, that, that we may rejoice in the day of Christ, that we haven't run in vain or labeled in vain. Okay, so that's Paul speaking. Um, okay, so that was the end of that. So, Father, we just come in agreement because Karen and I were in agreement with um, when Pastor Steve said this on Sunday with our brothers and sisters, his friends that are in Israel. You know, we did a tithe to Israel. We did an, hi Dana. We did America's tithe to Israel. Karen and I and some sisters, we did a prophetic act in 2008, um, 17 or 18. It was just a few thousand dollars. It wasn't a lot, but we sent it to Israel and we did it as a prophetic act of intercessors giving a tithe and to the Lord. And we gave the tithe to the Lord. Our country has given a tithe. It wasn't much, but it was something. It was a seed and it came from this house. It came from Jubilee. It came from the United States. It came from Camarillo. It came from California. That's where it came from. And Father reminds me of that all the time. In fact, he was just reminding me of it. I had, no, I had no plans to even say that whatsoever. But this is our positioning. Not that we're something great, we're not. He put it in our heart to do that. And so we did it. So there has been a little something, a little baby might, a little widow's might as a prophetic act from this nation. And we blessed Israel with it. And I thank you, Father, for the ground. I thank you, Father God, yes, for who you've Lord. made us in the earth, Lord God. I thank you for grafting us into Judah. Yeah. I thank you, Lord God. I bless you, Lord. So we, I'm just kind of doing all three days um, all together right now of, of ourself and the church and, and Israel before we go into the United States. But we're going to put our brother, the land of Jesus' homeland because the seed had to be born there. The seed had to be born there. Abraham met the seed. And then the seed had to be born in Israel. So yes, it is about land. It is about land. I mean, it's about us spiritually. We are all Hebrews as, as we are crossing over. But Father, in Jesus' name, we bless the land yes. of our Savior's birth. We bless the land of his death. We bless the land where his blood was shed. Yes. We speak the blessing of the Lord over the land in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Father God, has been ravaged throughout the centuries. And the Ottoman Empire came in and, and all of them, came, all the empires came in. Lord, but you're able to heal a land. Yes, you are. You're able to save a land, even from their own sin. Father, yes. we are not, I'm not saying Israel has not sinned, it has sinned tremendously, it has sinned tremendously, just like America has, but I love America, and I love Israel, so Lord, in Jesus' name, Father, we just speak transformation into Israel, yes, in Lord. Jesus' name, reconciliation into Israel, Father God, would you tear down the plans of darkness, Father God, would you discomfit the enemy, Father, in Jesus' name, yes. When you look throughout the earth and you look for a man, would you find one here, Lord? Would you find one in Israel? Yes. Would you find our brothers and sisters, Father God, who are asking you and proclaiming peace, peace on earth? Would you came and said to the pastors that were walking with their flock in the night season, and you said by a holy, a holy encounter, a breakthrough in the, from the realms of heaven into earth, and you spoke and you said by your spirit, Lord, through your holy angels, peace on earth and that your will is good toward mankind. Yes. So, Father, we do not agree with death and destruction in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you would not allow the gates of hell to be filled, not with, Lord, well, please stop it, Father. In Jesus' name, I cannot rejoice over hell receiving people, the death of those who, who do not know the Lord. I can't rejoice over it. Father, would you have mercy? Would you have mercy, Lord? Father, in Jesus' name, we ask you that you come in 
and you have your way and you direct. You be king. You be king over Israel, Lord Jesus. You've made your proclamation in Isaiah 54. You have proclaimed that you are Israel's husband, that you are the redeemer, that you are the holy one of Israel. We will always worship you, King Jesus, over Israel. Lord, that you secure her borders, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, in Jesus, that you forgive her of her sins, Lord. Your daughter, Judah, your son, Judah, that you forgive her of her sins, Lord God. Her corruptions and all of them, you know them all. I don't even need to say what they are. Father, but Lord God, in Jesus' name, you know how to reach the minds and the hearts, Lord. And Father, that you would shut down, Father God, all of the backlash, this, this awakening of darkness, Lord, that you would shut it down, Father, that you would shut it down, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, your bride is asking you, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we know you love us, Lord Jesus. We're asking you as your bride, Lord Jesus, that you say that you save, Lord Jesus. We're asking you for supernatural awakenings throughout the Middle East, supernatural revival fires that start and burn, just like the fires that are being engineered right now to take ground, land grabbing. Lord, you can light fires in the hearts of millions of Muslims in one instant if you choose to. Yes, Lord. You can do that, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we bless you for that, Lord. We receive them. We receive Iran. We receive, Father God, all of these areas that seem yucky to us, Lord. Yemen and all these places that I think of and it just, it seems like, ew. But Father, I, the, the, they're your people, Lord. You break through like you did on the night Jesus was born, Lord Jesus. You know how to do. You know how to break through and reveal yourself. Yes. And reveal yourself, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, yes. to Palestine, that you heal Palestine. And then I'm going to give it over. If you guys want to pray, come and line up and, and stand here at the thing. And D, I'll, I'll, I'll surrender to you. Just um, let me finish with Palestine real quick. Lord, we just plead the blood of Jesus Christ over Palestine. Yes, and those who are true Palestinians, Lord, that mean no harm whatsoever in any way, Father God. We ask that you save and heal and deliver and feed and, and clothe, Lord, and put in homes. And Father God, that you restore. We ask for restoration, Lord. And, and Father, however it is you want to, Lord, that you would please have your way. You're big enough. Either you are or you're not. And Lord Jesus, you are, are plenty big enough. Yes. Lord, you're big enough to yes. put innocent people into homes and into clothes and into food and into shelter and into safety. Yeah. Father, we ask for that in yes. Jesus' name. Yes. We proclaim that yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus that we love you. Yes, we love Lord. you yes, Lord. in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, for washing our hands. If any of us have any blood on our hands, that we got excited or anything like that, Lord, I ask that you cleanse our hands right now. Yes. Any way that we thought or that I'm thinking right now that I could be thinking, any way that we're, our mindset is off, I ask that you cleanse us and yes. sanctify yes. us. Recalibrate our heart. Recalibrate our mind, Lord. I thank you, Father God, for the mind of Christ. You yes. said we have the mind of Christ, so we receive the mind of Christ. In Jesus' name, that you sanctify our minds. In Jesus' name, that you sanctify our minds. Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Okay, D. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to read out of Isaiah 62, 12 verses and pray into it. For Zion's sake, I will not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until her righteousness goes forth as brightness and her salvation as a lamp that burns. The Gentiles shall see your righteousness and all kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord will name. You shall be a crown of glory 
in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem in the hand of your God. You shall no longer be termed forsaken, nor shall your land anymore be termed desolate, but you shall be called Hephzibah and your land Beulah, for the Lord delights in you, and your land shall be married. For as a young man marries a virgin, so shall your sons marry you. And as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall your guide rejoice over you. you. I have set watchmen on your walls, O Jerusalem. They shall never hold their peace day or night. You who make mention of the Lord do not keep silent, but give him no rest till he establishes and till he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Amen. The Lord has sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength, Surely I will no longer give your grain as food for your enemies, and the sons of the foreigner shall not drink your new wine for which you have labored. But those who have gathered it shall eat it and praise the Lord. Those who have brought it together shall drink it in my holy courts. Go through, go through the gates, Prepare the way for the people. Build up. Build up the highway. Take out the stones. Lift up a banner for the peoples. Indeed, the Lord has proclaimed to the end of the world, say to the daughter of Zion, surely your salvation is coming. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And you shall be called sought out a city not forsaken so lord this is not just this church body this is not just me because that's a song you gave me that i am hephzibah i am blue beulah land but lord i stand in agreement as we're interceding over israel jerusalem is your baby it's your heart and we're agreeing father we are not giving rest until you make her a praise in the nation, Lord. We declare every single jot and tittle of Isaiah 62 is coming to pass over Israel, Lord Jesus, your beautiful one, because you are their redeemer, Lord God. There is no forsaken, there is no desolation, Lord God. And even as the Lynn cried out, the desperation and the evilness and the things that we don't turn away in its putridness, but we say, come, we say, uh, go through, go through the gates, prepare the way, people, build up, build up the highway, take out the stones, lift up a banner for these people. God, we will not give rest until she is a praise unto you, Lord God. She is not forsaken. She is not desolate. She is married. She is desired of the Lord, and she is a holy one unto you. So have your way over Israel, Lord God. We agree in the name of Jesus. Yes. God, we just lift up um, not only Muslim countries, but Father, just Muslim individuals, God, human beings. God, I just ask, and it's that same cry of your heart, all eyes on Jesus, all eyes on Jesus, God, that not one pair of eyes will not see you, God, or, or ears hear your voice, God, or heart understand or know you, God. And I, I just want to say thank you for just walking into people's cells, for walking into people's bedrooms, for showing up when there's no voices to, that can tell someone about Jesus, that Jesus, you're, you show up, you walk into the room, you do what no man can do. And I just thank you and I invite you, Jesus, I invite you, Jesus, into Israel. I invite you into every country, every human being that does not know Jesus. And I ask, Father, that you set every eye on you, God. Father, I just welcome the embrace of, and power and might of Jesus Christ into every single place, Father, the most hard to reach person place idea, whatever it is, Father, the most intense, the most 
where people would say that person's too dangerous or too far gone or too whatever lost, but that's not part of your vocabulary. That's not part of the way you think because you're Jesus and there's nothing you can't do and there's no one that you haven't already saved. And so Father God, we just, I thank you, Father, that, that we as human beings, that, that there was death and there was resurrection and we did that with you, God. You did that as us, and I just thank you, Father. We just, I just call for salvation in masses, in Jesus' name, salvation to the uttermost, the love of God to find every individual person in the name of Jesus, God, that you set every crooked way straight. And I just thank you for that, God, and I just thank you for the love of God, for the peace of God, that passes knowledge, God, for the peace of God. And I just, we just declare peace over Israel, peace over every individual heart that feels chaotic or scattered. We just declare that Jesus Christ is Lord over everything and nothing is too difficult for you in Jesus' name. Pray for unity from um, John chapter 17, starting from verse 21, that they all may be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me and the glory which you gave me, I have given them, that they may be one just as we are one. Yes. I in them, you in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them as you have loved me. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord. Yes, we lift up Israel. We lift up the believers, Lord, in Jesus, Father. And we lift up, Lord, all the Gentile believers, Father, the Gentile churches, those who have benefited, those who have received the blessing of Abraham through Jesus, Father. Father, unite us, Lord, as one in your son, Jesus, Father. Father, I thank you, Lord, that for such a time as this, Father, you gather our hearts, you gather our mind, Lord. Give us the mind of Jesus, the mind of Christ, Lord, that our hearts may be united, Lord. Father, in love, Lord, in faith, with Jesus and with one another, Lord, with Israel, Father. Father, I thank you. We just extend, Lord, our blessing upon Israel, Father, our elder brother in Israel, Lord. We extend, Father, our love in the name of Jesus, Father. We stand as one, as the body of Christ on earth, Lord, and we take up the authority that you have given us, Lord, the glory you have given us through your name, Lord Jesus, and we say peace to Israel, Lord. We say shalom, shalom to Israel, Lord. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you will extend your wing over the land, Lord. Jesus, that you will spread your wing over that beloved nation, Israel, Lord. And Lord, you will be her covering. You will surround her. You will encircle her, Lord. Lord Jesus, I thank you. You would arise. You would defend her, Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you. No weapon that is formed against her shall prosper, Lord. Every time that comes against her, Lord Jesus, you do condemn, Lord, in judgment, Lord, because you are her righteousness, Lord. You are her justification. She come from you, Lord Jesus, and she stands in you because you have called her by name and she belongs to you. She's a treasure in your hand, Lord Jesus. She's a crown, Lord Jesus, in your palm, Lord Jesus. She bears your name, O God, the God of Abraham and God of Isaac and the God of Jacob, Lord. Father, I thank you even as your testament stands in heaven as a sign of the sun and the moon that it will stand.
stand forever, Lord. So your covenant with Israel stand, not because of their faithfulness, but because of who you are, Lord. Your faithfulness, your faithfulness, oh Lord, your faithfulness. You will rise, Lord, before the nations, before the world, and you stand as her defense, Lord. You and you alone, Jesus, you are her defense, Lord. And you are enough, Lord. You are enough, Lord Jesus. All eyes on Jesus, Lord. And Father, I thank you. Unveil Jesus, Lord. To the hearts in the Middle East, Lord. On um, people on both sides, Lord Jesus. You take no side, Lord, because all come from you, Lord. Unveil your son, the beautiful one. Unveil this majestic king to every heart in Israel, to every heart in the Muslim nations, Lord. To every heart to men and the women, the children, the elderly, those who have hated you and those who have loved you, Lord. Unveil Jesus, Lord, over the Middle East. Now for such a time as this, the church stand to bless your name, Lord, yes, and the Lord. church stand to bless our brethren in the Middle East, Lord, to Israel and the Palestinian and every nation, Lord, in that place, Lord, because you love you love every single one of them, Lord, and you deserve their hearts, Lord. You deserve all their worship, all their adoration. Yes. Direct their hearts to you, Lord. Yes. Direct their hearts to you. Yes. In the name of Jesus, so we decree. Father God gave to us to the church, including the Messianic Jewish brothers, sisters, Lord. The wisdom, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you. That the eyes of our understanding be enlightened, Father God. In this hour, in this, in this time, Father God, would you unveil Jesus, Lord? Lord, I said Jesus crucified, having crucified, would come to the forefront of our vision and our mind, Father God, that the knowledge of the Lord will fill the earth. The knowledge of the Lord will fill the earth. As water, uh, as water fills the ocean, Lord, let the knowledge of the Lord fill the earth, cover the earth, Father God, with the knowledge of you, Abba Daddy. You are generous God, Father God. Release the knowledge of you, Father God. Release the knowledge of you over Israel, over, over America, Father God. Abba Daddy, deliver America, Father God. Deliver this nation, deliver Israel, Father God. And deliver your church, Father God, from deception. Abba Daddy, uh, so thank you, Abba Daddy, for opening our eyes, Father God. And Lord, that Jesus, you are Lord. We declare and decree Jesus is the Lord over the nations. And Jesus Christ is the, is the Lord over Israel. Jesus Christ is the Lord over America. Father God, we just thank you, Lord. Lord, we just declare Jesus is Lord. That Lord, we understand we are your servant. Father God, that we are your servant. We are not here, Father God, to be served by you. Father God, that we are here to serve your kingdom, Father God. And we pray let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in each of us, Father God. Lord, reveal your will, Father God. Lord, cause your calling, God, to prosper in our life, Father God. That Lord Jesus, that you will give us the mind of Christ. Father God, that we understand we are here, Lord. There's yes. a purpose for us, Father God, to serve you, Abba Daddy, to serve your purpose, serve your kingdom. We thank you, Abba Daddy, for saving us, for delivering us, Father God, out of deception, out of complacency. In Jesus' name, Father God, reveal Jesus, unveil Jesus, and give to us the knowledge of you, Father God. Give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, Father God. And open the eyes of our understanding, Father God, to see the hope of your calling to understand yes, the riches of your yes, inheritance in the sense among the sense of us in, as one body father god we thank you in jesus name yes. father we invite your presence within the kingdom of god 
and it will be done in this moment in Israel, in this country, in every country, God. I pray that you gave me Matthew 21, where we invite Jesus to come back to Jerusalem. I pray, God, Jesus, the Lion of Judah, that you will, that you will turn around the tables, that you will decree and declare and again and again, my house is not a house of robbers, thieves, fornicators. My house is a house of prayer. I pray, God, that you will come powerful and mighty in the nation of you, Jesus. I pray, God, that what you said to me as well, like I, Ezekiel 36, 26, is a promise. It's a promise that we claim it in Jesus' name, that you will change the heart of man, and you will pour your spirit upon the flesh, and we cry out for that. We claim it. We declare it and decree that your cross is enough, that your blood is enough, and that you're able to change the heart of man yes, and to bring Lord. peace in Jerusalem and in this country, in this election coming up. I know that you can do it, God. I know it's a promise, God, in Jesus' name. And I declare and decree, as you said, also Psalm 127. It's useless. If God doesn't build the house, I pray that you will come again over and over, powerful and mighty to save, to build the house of Jerusalem, to build the house of United States of America, that we're under the Lordship and Jesus of Jesus Christ. I pray that you will build as well our home, our home of praise, our home of worship, our, our home of intersection, intervention, to pray to Jesus. Jesus, you're the beginning and the end. You're the Alpha and Omega. Amen. Come to Jerusalem. Come to Jerusalem and bring order. Bring order in every nation. Your throne is made in justice and righteousness, Father God. That's who you are. And you're not going to stand yes, of robbers, a thief, liars, and murderers. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. And in God, we will trust. Praise God. Thank you, Father, and everything we ask you. Yes. In the name of all, every name, Yeshua, yes. Amashia, Christ yes. Elie, you receive the glory. You receive the praise. Yes. You are the healer. You are the redeemer. You are the provider. Yes. And we're here for you, God, to anoint in those prayers, to empower this, your word. And Father, send angelic manifestation in earth. Father God, send mighty angels to destroy the world of the devil over and over and over. In Jesus' name. I just want to piggyback of back of Shirley's prayers. What was uh, crossing my mind as she was praying was, God, there's only one God. There's no other God. That's right. There's no other God before you, Lord. That's right. You are God. You're yeah. the only God. You're the living God. Yeah. You are the true God. You are the God of gods. And so, Lord, I ask that you would release the spirit of repentance over America, Father, yes. over California, Father, release your spirit yes. of repentance because, Lord, without repentance, nobody's going to repent, Lord. And I'm asking you, Father, that you would break the hearts of man, Papa. Yes. Break the hearts of man, Papa. I ask you, Lord. That you would open the eyes of man, God, what they're doing, Lord, in Jesus' name. I ask you, Lord, to show them that they need you. They are the answer to all things. And your goodness, let them see, Lord, your goodness, Father. Let them see how you've always blessed America, Papa. Let them see, Father. Let them see, Lord, 
America needs you, man, needs you, Father. Yes, Lord. Father, we command those spiritual ears to be open. We command those scales to come off their eyes in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We come against all veils in Jesus' name. We come against all deception. Yes, Lord. Je- uh, yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, America is being deceived by the riches, by gold. God, it's always money, it's always gold. The, the riches of the world, God. Just like you have blessed America with riches, God, you can take that away if you choose to. So, Lord, I pray that you bless America with a humble heart. Yes, Lord. God, release a spirit of humility. Yes, God, I pray that you visit America, even to, to the people in their sleeps, in their dreams, that you would visit them, Lord. For you are the God of the impossible. Yes, you are. You are. You are, Lord. You are, Lord. You, God, you are the God of the impossible because you are God. Yes. You are the creator. Yes, you are. Like you. you are the creator, Papa. You created all the world. You created man in the palm of your hand, Lord. You blessed every man with a destiny, in a calling, Lord. You, <laughs> you, <laughs> you created man, Lord, to worship you. Yes. To love you, to have intimacy yes. with you, Papa. Forgive our selfishness, God. Forgive our pride, Papa. Forgive our cold hearts, God. Forgive our hard hearts, God. For Israel. God, nobody, nobody can touch your nation. Nobody can touch Israel. That's your place. That's your place, God. That's where you're coming, Jesus, back. Father, nobody can destroy Israel. Father, you got your angels there, Lord. Doing a battle on their behalf, Papa. You want to, you just want to wake up your church there, your people there, Lord. Anyway, Father God, remove the veil that you have sovereignly placed over the eyes of Israel, that they would recognize as Jesus. Oh, 
my goodness, that they would recognize Jesus as their Messiah. Yes. Lord, show, show your mercy and favor to Israel in this set time, Papa. Turn their hearts back to you, Father. Quicken to their spirit, man. God, in Jesus' name, yes, Lord. Uh, we pray for the current leaders in Israel, including the prime minister, the mayor of Jerusalem, and all other military service to rise up, raise up government leaders in Israel and worldwide. Who would seek to divide? Who will not seek to divide the land? And who would not rec? And who would recognize the unique significance of Jerusalem in God's end time purposes? He who scattered Israel will gather him and keep him as a shepherd does his flock. Father, continue to draw the Jewish people to you according to your sovereign plan. Let them all be confounded and turn back that hate at Zion. Let them be as grass upon the housetops which withers before it grows up. Lord, deal justly and swiftly with your enemies. Destroy and divide tongues of those who would incite violence against Israel. In the name of Jesus, we bind false religions and false doctrines that would not acknowledge, that does not acknowledge your eternal plan for the land and people of Israel. Uh, the Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He makes the plans of the people of no effect. We declare that God's purpose for Israel will, not, will be completely fulfilled and that he will be glorified. Show your loving kindness to your people, Israel, and keep them as the apple of your eye. Hide them under the shadows of your wings from the wicked who oppress them and from their deadly enemies who surround them. We pray that you would remember your covenant and promises towards Israel, especially when others rise up against her to swallow her alive. When their wrath is kindled against her, the waters will not overwhelm her. God will not give her as a prey to their teeth. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus. Did you have a prayer, Daniel? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close. Thank you, guys, everybody that prayed. I mean, that was absolutely awesome. And just very grateful for everybody's agreement, prayer of agreement. Father, I just ask you right now, Lord, that those these prayers, every utterance, Father God, every prayer before your throne, Father. Lord, in Jesus' name, just lives before your face forevermore, Lord. Your eternal word, where your word was prayed, Father God, that it lives and goes into your nostrils, Lord, as a sweet aroma to you, Lord God. And that your prayer lives inside of our hearts, that it's not over because it's, it's time to close our meeting, Father God, but that our hearts continue to pray, Lord, daily and and weekly and monthly, Lord. I thank you for setting us on fire for you, Lord. Yes. With your word, Lord, with your will. Father, help us, Lord, in the areas where we're questioning or anything like that, Father. Lord, that you um, would make our crooked places straight and our rough places smooth. We bless you, Lord. I thank you for your blessing to be upon us, yes, Lord. Father. That you cause your face to shine upon us. That you uphold us in your righteous right hand, Lord. Watch over us, Lord. You protect us. You guide us and you direct us, Lord. And Father, I thank you for the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might, and the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Be upon us. Be poured out upon us, Father. Your body, your church in California, in the United States, and in Israel and in the world. In Jesus' name, amen.